Dr. Toma here, and welcome to number six in a series, Evolving My Primitive Brain. In this one, we wanna talk about the difference between men and women and the way our limbic system and our primitive brain see the things that go on around us. So in the last episode, we talked about the adrenals, the HPA access, and what happens when the fear switch is flipped on. Well, what happens is a little different between men and women. There's a difference between estrogen and testosterone. And one of the things that happens is you think that you must take care of what's going to happen in your future. And when we look at it from a perspective of a male, he thinks when the trigger's flipped that there is a tiger or an enemy that he must fight. And so he thinks he either has to go out and fight the tiger or run away from the tiger. And so what happens is he needs to lean out, build more muscle mass, and he needs to be able to get away from the tiger as fast as possible and as far as possible or fight it with as much fiercity as it can, as he can. So he has testosterone and it makes him do just that. He will lose weight when he is in the fear and his fear switch is flipped on. You will see that most men actually lose weight. Their hunger may drop. They're not as hungry. They tend to move their bowels quicker. They tend to lose weight very quickly when they're under stress. And in modern times, this has changed a little bit. We have a lot of men that are have less testosterone because they're not moving as much. They're sitting at their desks, they're eating processed foods, high in soy, high in estrogen. And so we see a little less of it now than maybe we saw 10, 15 years ago, but it's still for the average male, when they get under stress, they're gonna lose weight much faster than any woman would. And so that's what happens when you have testosterone and the fear switch is flipped in your limbic system. Your caveman thinks that I gotta get away or I gotta fight the tiger and weight just tends to drop off of them. When you have a woman with estrogen levels that are normal or even high as it currently is in, the, in society, when they have their fear switch triggered in their limbic system, they, in their primitive mind, think that they're gonna have to take the children and hide in the cave. They're gonna have to protect those children. And so when they do that, they go to the cave in their mind and their bodies hold on to every ounce of fat that they have. It slows down their metabolism. It holds on to the fat. It makes them hungry. So hungry that a cave woman would eat dirt so that she can provide milk, breast milk for the children or eat the worms and that kind of thing. So this is what happens in the female in the primitive mind. Basically, their metabolism slows down. They become hungry enough to eat anything. And one other important thing happens, they begin to retain every ounce of fluid all the way to the point that even when they're sleeping, they can gain weight. The moisture in the air, as they sleep, they begin to inhale it in their lungs and their body begins to hold on to that moisture. So when you're under high stress, you can actually, as a female, you can actually weigh yourself before you go to bed, weigh yourself again in the morning and find out that you actually gained weight while you were sleeping. You didn't eat anything and you gained weight. A male under the same circumstances will weigh before he goes to bed, weigh when he wakes up in the morning time, and will have lost weight. I often say they're exchanging the, they're exchanging the moisture. He's breathing out the moisture, she's breathing it in, and it's a true thing. I've seen individuals with business stress. They've had to make large business decisions, and this happened with my wife some time back. Uh, she was working in, in the uh, banking industry and had to make a lot of decisions that were uh, critical, but also very stressful. And she would actually gain weight while she was sleeping. And it was then that I began to realize this was part of the primitive brain or the limbic system protecting what it thought was her future. I said early on in the second uh, of this series that the limbic system was all about protecting us for survival and reproduction. In the man's case, his reproductive uh, potential is going with him. He's going to run away and he's going to go fertilize eggs somewhere else and he's going to do it that way if he can't fight the tiger off the kids he has now. The mother is, is wanting to, she's invested more in those children than anything else and she is wanting to protect them even with her life. So she takes the kids, takes them, hides them out in the cave. She will put on every ounce of fat she can. She'll take in every bit of moisture. She will slow down her metabolism so that she has more breast milk to provide those kids so that they have a better chance for the future. So if you are dealing with fear in your life, you know that that fear switch is flipped on. We know that men are gonna lose weight. So if you're a man and you see that you can't put on weight and you're having struggling things, 
you need to deal with the with the fear and anxiety in your life. It may be that you're worried about the job. It may be that you're worried about uh, the things coming in the future. It may be that you're worried about things that you can't control. If you look back at last week's series, we delved into this quite extensively. And if you're a woman and you're putting on weight and there's no reason for it, you've had your hormones checked, everything seems to be right, you're eating the right amount of foods, you're doing everything that you should, you might need to look at how much anxiety is being created in your world. Go back to the last video in the series, review that, and see if there's things there that you can do to make a change in your life. But this lets you know why there's a difference with stress levels in men and women. It's your primitive mind telling you that there's a difference between cavemen and cave women in the way you process things. Have a great day.